Right, full tank of gas. Know where we're going? We know where we're going. Ready for a decent drive? Aye, we've got a small ish drive, but a really decent drive, Journey. if you get me. Yeah. Journey. Yeah. See where we end up. Hey. I'm off to get some b-roll to do spectacular shots for John of course there's a if you can see the one just there peeking through the trees so you get a bit of a behind the scenes Monday walking up a rather big hill to uh, oh, collect beehives and things Turkey is beautiful. Look at this. Just look. That's amazing.
we have a lot of comments off people that say, why don't you go to this city or why don't you go to those set of ruins and, um, you know, archaeological sites or, or tourist traps and stuff like that. But just not that kind of people. We just enjoy this. The views is about going places and what you see along the way rather than joining a list of many other people that have all stood in front of the same thing and looked at it. Um, I'd rather go and find things that maybe people haven't looked at, even if it's en route. It's about, for us, um, the process of just picking an area, um, usually set the sat-nav to do rural routes, um, and then sometimes not even bother the sat-nav and just kind of follow the road, follow your nose. And... Um, we get to end up in a stunning locations like this. And, and you can just park your home there for a day or two or five. And just enjoy peace, tranquility, nature. Without the hustle and bustle of all the other people trying to get to whatever monument or museum or explore a city centre. I mean, don't get me wrong, we do it now and again, as you've seen, but this wins every time, hands down. Right then, now that we've parked up and now that we've done the New Year's and all that kind of stuff, I want to go back in time because we kind of zoomed through uh, a lot of turkey in the video aspect of our last video to get to the point of being up to date at Christmas. So when we put out a Christmas video, it wasn't in February. So let's go back a few weeks to see what we actually got up to in all the places between the ones that we skipped. <laughs> that makes sense. So just so you know what we got up to, let's go back in time a few weeks. We're staying at this lovely harbour and uh, John and I are getting ready to go out and get something to eat but it just keeps astounding me I mean I don't know if you can see let me just tap the screen and change the thing that's the sunset we're getting that looks beautiful and yeah we are in a car park but the car park has toilets which is you know it's a good thing there's a little market on here where they're selling all sorts of things and there is that there look I just can't I, can't, I think Manchester does not prepare you at all for turning around and seeing mountains there because no matter where we go, it still astounds me and it still makes me catch my breath and I love it. So, just taking a little, uh, little knobber out for his uh, a little wee-wee before we go out and then I'm going to get a jacket on because it is not as warm as I thought it might be. And... Um, and yeah, we can get out and we're hoping to find like a mixed grill place because we had some lovely, um, uh, what is it called? Chok sheesh kebabs yesterday. Very nice. Like rubbish sheesh though, if you translate it. But it wasn't rubbish. It was brilliant. Hopefully find somewhere really nice, get some beers, uh, hair of the dog and all that. We'll be ready to go again. Is John ready? Yes. Yes. John's hungry? Oh yes. Good morning, folks. How are you all doing this morning? We've been hopping around different types of places, mainly little fishing ports and stuff like that. 
Um, but I just thought I'd let you know about the services here. So there's a water tap filling up at the moment. Uh, we do have a testing kit for water, just in case you ask. Uh, we have an inline water filter in the tank and we're also using the Berkey filter as well, the water filter from the Berkey, to which we did get new candles for as well. So yeah, we have no problem drinking the water out here. Uh, it's very safe. Like I say, even after testing the water out of the tap, um, that's totally safe as well, no issues with that either. So overall, no worries at all. Car packs are mostly free. This one says three lira a day, but we've only been asked for three lira since we arrived. It's got toilets, even a point where we can get water. So I'm just doing a, a top up of water now. It's all free. No one's asked for any money or anything like that. Uh, there's recycling bins there, big bins over there as well. Flat, people who are lovely. Obviously you've got places to shop, um, tat shops for Mandy, restaurants, all that kind of stuff as well. So yeah, it's really, really, really easy to van life in Turkey. Absolutely not a problem at all. We're just chasing the weather at the moment. I mean, the forecast for here last night was minus two and snow this morning. But as you can see, there's no snow. It's chilly, six degrees, um, but yeah, no snow. So we're actually getting solar at the moment. But um, yeah, pretty cool. So we're back out this morning. The orange couple have decided to join us because, um, well, the alcohol's worn off now. <laughs> we're off to find us, Lemmy. Yeah. And it's a lovely morning now. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, and uh, yeah, comments down below. Anyone think that it should be called Victron Man? What are you looking forward to this morning, Bev? Food. Gozlemi? Uh, I'm hoping for a Turkish breakfast. If, even if there is Gozlemi, I think I'll go for that because I like all the dippy little bits and eggs and bread and, yeah. and jams and stuff. So yeah, I might go for that. So that's Mandy's big breakfast. Quick breakfast, Quick it is. Quick breakfast. Turkish breakfast for one, isn't it? Mm. You're starting your very first <laughs> vegetarian yeah. goes lemon. Looks nice. I same have the same. You. And I'm going for the meat mix. one. So me and Coop are just on our way to a PTT shop to get some cash out because they're the only ones who seem to have free to use cash machines. Everywhere else it's about five dollars to use it, so we can't quite see how steep that hill is and when I was told yeah the shops PTT shops at the top of town I didn't think that top meant high I thought top just meant the edges you know so Mr Cooper's been a trooper obviously I am so unfit whoop let's check this road because it's a 15 minute walk so it's not like I'm gonna die so up oh, come here buddy, got another little, and look at this where we are though, how beautiful is that, look, so I've walked up worse hills, what can I say, <laughs> so looking forward to going for a walk around the harbour again tonight. So um, how was your, what was it called, a standard breakfast or? A quick breakfast. Quick breakfast. My quick breakfast was not quick, uh -huh. I took my time with it, it was you lovely. Did? My three mixed meat, which is minced lamb, I'm going to guess. I think it's guess. lamb, yeah. Yeah, guzlami, we love, oh, actually, I'm stating it wrong, aren't I? Uh, guzlam, guzlami. Guzlema. Yeah. Is it guzlema? Three different places we've been now, I've said it three different ways, so yeah. forgive us if it's wrong. But it's not how it sounds, but you read it, it's not guzlami, it's guzlami or gauzlami or something, something like yeah. that. Oh, really tasty anyway. It was very good, freshly made as well by the looks of things. So. Yeah. And I had menemen. Where menemen? And every time I go menemenem. Menemenem. Which is lovely, which is like scrambled eggs and tomatoes and peppers fried up with paprika and oils and things. And it was just very, very tasty. So yes. yeah, well impressed. I like a good picky breakfast, I do. Yeah. So we have a nice walk along the harbour on the way back. And uh, now we're going to contemplate if we actually do, do some, some work, work. <laughs> we don't or well, we go out again and find a bar yeah so uh maybe see you later <laughs> maybe not good morning again folks thought i'd just show you the snow on the mountains up there it was uh, pretty stormy last night um but we didn't feel like it was freezing cold we had the heating on um yeah it probably rained for a solid uh, eight hours 
and quite windy but um yeah see snow on the uh, on the hills behind you is a little bit extreme come on Koopy, in you go but time to move today where are we going Beb? um turkey Good morning guys and um yeah what a peaceful monday morning this is i did get up for sunrise and it was bloody lovely i decided not to record anything seems odd as a youtuber i guess but i was just listening to the birds and just enjoyed it i'll maybe record it tomorrow morning if we're still here I imagine we probably will be. But yeah, really peaceful night's sleep. Such an epic spot. Had some more camper vans join us last night. So just for a point of reference, there are the tombs that are carved into the rocks. And there, between that and that rock there, uh, that was the old Roman town we went to and you can just see the river snaking down there towards Turtle Beach and Turtle Beach is just up there where we went to but there is Dalian and that's the lake above Dalian and this is obviously just a little estuary uh, it's fed by the river and the sea but yeah pretty cool and there were spots all along this road as we were driving this road there were spots all along there to stop and have a picnic and loads of people were set out having a picnic and then just above there you can see some snow probably find a bit more of that where we're going because we're going to go and explore more of the mountains to wake up in the morning and look out on that. I think the vast majority of you agree. It's pretty damn epic. Just in case people were worried that Cooper hadn't really wanted to come back to the van, he's, he's settled back in perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> Very comfortable, aren't you, buddy? Yeah. Do you miss the house? Just a distant memory now. Very comfy, aren't you? Do you like being back on the road? Playing with your toys outside and stuff? With your toys? Yeah, outside. you got to... Yeah. You like playing with your toys outside? Played with them a lot yesterday, didn't you, you buddy? Did. Oh. You all your toys, your tugger and your ball. <gasps> yeah, how would you get that on your chewy? And you went you for them all out and played outside. You went for nice walkies with mummy. Big walkies with mummy too. Yeah. Oh, we had a good day yesterday, didn't we, buddy? Yeah. You're so handsome. <laughs> so yeah, I think <laughs> it's perfectly all right back in the van with us. Yeah. Bless him. Oh, look at the little cute nose. He's oh, he's such a little cutie. Oh. So. A little bit of a, an attempt to use my new camera, which uh, I, that should be a New Year's resolution if I did them. I don't do them because I'm crap at them, if I'm to be totally honest. So uh, all I tend to do is disappoint myself, which sends me into a spiral of anxiety of how bad and I can't even do this and I can't even do that. So for me, resolutions are a no-no. I just tell myself things like, I am going to try and use this camera more and I'm going to do some more blogs and I am going to try and um, get better at what we do because at the moment John tends to do everything and it's mostly because 
I don't, which is unfair because this is both of us and what we do. And by me taking a bit of time to understand a little bit more, I'm pretty sure that we should hopefully get some better videos out of it. So, but yeah, look, I'll move with this a bit of music. I've got some jacket potatoes with leftover vegetarian chili in the oven, getting a good uh, a good going. I managed to microwave some potatoes before we left the house, so a little bit of meal prep, so we're making good choices, both drinking water. Um, feel like it's just that time. I know you can make these new starts whenever, but I'm going to drink water. I'm going to move more. I'm going to do some stuff. So there we go. That is me and my little update at this park up and whether John uses it or not is a whole different matter isn't it but um yeah really excited to get travelling again uh, 12 days in the house was wonderful but we do need to get going again because you can feel it in your bones when you're used to travelling and you're staying in one place for too long and it's just like you know what I just need to get going let's get going so we drove up a mountain figures that's John for you though isn't it Head up from the laptop. Pulled my headphones out. Went, oh, sunset pictures. Yeah, I kind of missed the sunset. Uh, sunrise should be over there-ish. So maybe we'll see the sunrise in the morning. But yeah, sorry about that. I kind of left you, left the house, and then you know, got involved with all that stuff that's called. Um, oh yeah, editing. Yeah, so it's a lovely spot up here. Very peaceful. People come in during the day for a picnic. A few more campers turning up right now. So to see what they uh, see what they do. Might go and have a chat with them. See if they want to come to the meet up in a week. <laughs> hey. Good morning folks. And as you can see behind me there, the weather's turned very normal again. And when I say normal, I mean normal for our trip. Not normal what we expected from Turkey. Which is a bit unfortunate because I got up at six o'clock this morning to do sunrise time lapse. Yeah. I basically, I got a rain time lapse. Oh, Coop wants to go this way. It's been a cracking little park up this one. Obviously, right now the views aren't great, but we just tucked in out of the way over there at the back of this little car park. There are some more park ups up here. So if you do come here, uh, continue up the hill there. And there's two more over on that side that Mandy found. She was walking coop when I was uh, editing. Um, and you get a better view of the sea over there, which you can just about see. See the sea. But yeah, it's quite a nice park up. Albeit that there's been about three planes come over this morning, but nothing for two days. But yeah, we nestled out of the way there and we thought we'd go for the view over the bay. Um, seemed a nicer view and a little bit more out of the way. Oh yeah, Mrs. Too Born to Travel, George. If you do fancy it, if you do want to kind of like come over this way, someone camped in that spot there for the last two days. They only left a couple of hours ago. Epic views, little two man tent, looking out over all that. So there you go, no excuses now, George. Head to Turkey and come and camp in the mountains. Um, but yeah, we're off again down the coast today. Um, about two hours, two and a half hours. And um, yeah, we're gonna meet up with a couple I think you'll know. You should know them anyway. They've got a cracking YouTube channel.
morning, folks. What a lovely day it is too. Now, <laughs> it was a lovely afternoon yesterday when we met Jessica and Ben, uh, Overland and Sophia. If you uh, do follow them, there will be a link in the video description down below. Philly and Keely made it back as well, so we all had a nice afternoon. Uh, went to a little restaurant, had some uh, Goslemi and stuff like that. Because, you know, Goslemi. If you've not had Goslemi then, whew, what have you been doing in your life? Yeah, we've been trying to meet up with Ben and Cheska since 2019, since our first trip out. Um, and then COVID ruined that. So uh, since then, it's just been a case of matching up where we are and what we're doing and stuff. So, yeah, seemed like a good thing to do. They're crossing going west, we're going east. So it was uh, good to cross little tips of where's good and things like that and by the way yes i do sound like i've got a cold it's been on and off for a couple of days philly's the same meeks is really suffering from it as well we've all taken covid tests we're all fine it's not an issue um i just think um yeah we just parted too hard i felt fine yesterday just today feel a bit snotty again but yeah maybe new year's eve was a bit too hard and we're recovering from it slowly don't forget to join us next week for some epic scenery and some absolutely stunning roads as we travel towards Antalya to our meetup where we have some biblical weather and Mandy has a little holiday romance. <laughs> Ben, 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 ben,